Hey YouTube, it's Text Pro Gone Bad, and boy have I got a great tutorial for you guys today. Today, we're going to be creating a MySpace layout without any um, help from any other website, without any um, layout generators, nothing like that. It's all done with Photoshop. Now, today I'm going to be covering the following. I'm going to be covering how to make your own contact table, your own banner, your own network banner, your own name, and um, your, basically your own layout. So let's get started. Well the first thing you need to do obviously is open up Adobe Photoshop because that's what everything, that's what we're going to be using to make everything. Okay so go to file, new, and make a new canvas. Make it 811 width pixels and the height make it 800 pixels. And just to let you guys know, today I'm going to be doing everything in pixels. So I just wanted to state that because I don't want to keep repeating myself and saying that it's in pixels. So just know that everything today is going to be done in pixels. So width 811 and height 800. Press OK. So once you press OK, something like this should pop up. Now what this is going to be is the middle part of your layout. For example, I'm going to use Tom's MySpace as an example this little white strip in the middle where he puts all of his information that's what it is so put it any color that you want the middle to be that you're gonna put all your stuff so I'm just gonna make it let's say green because well as you may have noticed textbook on bad is all about green and black so I'm gonna make the middle green so take the paint bucket tool and just paint it all green Okay, so once you got that part done, you want to unlock the background layer. So you want to double click on it, and then press OK to whatever pops up, which will make it a normal type of layer, which will unlock it. So next thing you want to do is open up or make a new layer. So just go to Layer, New, Layer, or Shift, Control, N for the shortcut key. Press OK. Now, once you have that layer made, you want to drag it to the bottom of the background layer, or what used to be the background layer. And then you want to go to Image, Canvas Size, and um, change the default should be on inches. You want to change it to pixels. Next, you want to change the width to 1,600 and leave the height at 800. Then press OK. And then something like this should pop up. I'm just going to zoom out real quick. Okay, so it should look like this. Next, what you want to do is put the background. And now you could put an image, you could put pretty much anything you want in the background. But since text work on bad, as you may have noticed, everything's simple. Like, I don't have any of that extra stuff on my YouTube. And I really don't want any extra stuff on my MySpace either. So I'm just going to paint the background black. Simple, black, and green. Okay, so once you have this done, once you have your background done however you want it, you want to go to file and save as. Now you also want to make a folder in your um, in your documents or desktop or wherever that says MySpace layout. And then inside that folder, you want to make something else that says, for example, your name or in this case, I have it as down as test for for just for this tutorial. So I have a folder named test. Now ignore all these other files that are already in this folder because. I already did this tutorial once and I messed it up because MySpace messed up on me so yeah I have to repeat it God. well anyways so BG save it as BG short for the stands for background then press save now once you press save in the newer versions of Adobe Photoshop this thing will pop up oh by the way you want to save it as a JPEG okay so you want this preview this little check thing that says preview you want that check so it shows you how much the file size will be now if um, since my I just made mine really simple if even at the largest um, quality it's only 116 um, K but well um, let's say you put like some fancy pictures and you put a lot of cool graphics um, you're gonna wanna keep it lower than 300 K because just for the reason that it's gonna take forever to load and someone's gonna be like oh my god I just wanna send him a freaking message and I have to wait for all this to load so you really don't want that so um, make sure to ma uh, make it less than 300 K then press OK so once you have all that done you wanna get started on the rest of the stuff so the next thing we're gonna do is the name now what the name is 
is, for example, on Tom's MySpace, it, it says just plainly Tom. It's nothing special about it. It's normal text, normal fonts, no fancy graphics or anything. Well, what we're going to do is um, we're going to get rid of this and make it into a really nice font, um, make it however you want, some nice graphics and all this stuff. So what you want to do is start making that. So make the name, go to File, New. Now remember to make sure you um, make sure that the, the file sizes, the width and the height are exactly as I tell you guys because in the end you're going to need to know some basic HTML to get it all on MySpace because I provided the the big part of the HTML for you you just need to know the basic uh, some basic HTML to um, replace everything so it matches your MySpace so in the end I'm gonna have the width and the height for all of them set for you in the HTML code that I will give you guys so you really don't want to change that because it just makes it easier for you guys in the end so what you want your name to be is you don't want it to be any bigger than 300 width and 200 height it could be smaller but you just don't want it bigger so press OK now make your name I'm gonna make the background green so it matches this little middle strip and then I'm gonna type in just plainly TSGB <clears throat> so right in the middle TSGB in the biggest font and center it now if you don't want it to take up all that space you don't need to like this this is the only thing that it's not really mandatory how big it is so um, it, ca it can't be bigger than 300 by 200 pixels but it can be smaller so if you didn't take up all the space just go ahead and select the tool it should be the first tool it should be on on the top left hand corner and it should be called the rectangle marquee tool so just select that and just select the part that you want to use after you have selected that part you want to go to image and press crop and it will automatically crop it for you so then you want to go to file save as say again save it in that same folder and save it as a JPEG all of these things you're going to be saving as a JPEG then save it as name press save and um, that when that thing pops up you can make it the biggest file size you want because it's a small it's a small picture so it's not going to take up that much space so just press OK. Now for the rest of the stuff, for example, the network banner, the contact table, and the banner, all that stuff I have already pre-made. So just for the sake of you guys don't have to be like sitting there bored watching me do it. So I already have all that pre-made, but I'm going to go through the simple steps with you so you guys don't get lost. So for next, we're going to make the network banner. Now what the network banner is, is right over here where it says your right here where it says like your mood or your whatever and like your blogs it's gonna be somewhere around there so um yeah the network banner is gonna be located there so you wanna make a new um photo uh, photoshop doc or file or uh, canvas and you want remember the width and the height is really important for all of these so for the network banner you want the width to be 435 pixels and the height to be 200 pixels press ok and then make your network banner. Make it say whatever you want. It could be a logo. It could be whatever you want. Make it and then save it as a JPEG and save it as network banner. And make sure to save it in that folder. Next, we're going to make our contact table. Go to File, Create a New Canvas, and make the contact table 300, the width 300 pixels, and the height 150 pixels. Press OK. Make your contact table and make sure it says like all the stuff and so like people know what to do for example make sure it says like stuff like send message add to friends uh, block user um, add to group stuff like that so make sure it says all that save it as a JPEG and save it as contact table and make sure to save it in that folder next go to file new create another new canvas and and 